Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Civilization 5. Uh, so, uh, let's get right back into it. So first off, I uh, just captured the city of uh, Gale from the, uh, who was it again? As Aseka of the Songhai. So I'm going to have my workers over here and build a plantation on this silt. As well, and I'm going to have... Wow, my warriors, just look at this, they're both really low. Oh, no, that's a high warrior. My Egyptian warrior has really low health. And my other warrior and chariot archer are also quite low. So I'm going to have to have them all heal up before I make the final push onto his last city. Which is my research. Uh, because I just took a capital that I can't raise, I want to get a courthouse as soon as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up mathematics. And then there's a barbarian here right here. No, the enemy unit. Open borders is ended, I don't care. This so one's got a research agreement. Gold plantation. You move one up and range attack. Warriors. Singular. Okay. Good, that lowers the opposition a little bit. You, my friend, heal. And I am going to go see if I can if I can also do a research agreement. So I'm going to diplomacy, diplomacy overview. Who can I do? I can do one with Napoleon. I can do it with Elizabeth. I do it with either one. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if I can do both. I think I have enough amount of gold for that, so that should be fine. C'est toi. C'est toi. Parle. Parle. Research agreement. Two hundred gold only. Wow, I thought it was gonna be more than that. That's great. Propose. D'accord. D'accord. Okay. Elizabeth. Hello. Hello again. Read. Go ahead. Go ahead. Agreement. Unacceptable. That's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. That still work. A hundred gold. Would you want me to do a hundred in a trade gold. agreement with England? I'm sorry. Do you really hate me? You must. Well, you know what? Let me see if I can do this. Hello. Hello again. Let's trade research agreement. Go ahead. Go ahead. And then I'll give you one sugar. How's that sound? For 30 turns. Goodbye. Very, very. That's fine. I don't care. I see it. It'll just be wasting if I don't do anything with it anyway. And I can't trade it off because no one else has anything that they would be willing to trade. So I finished a monument over in Memphis. And I'm going to... This has absolutely terrible production. I'm either going to build a burial tomb or a library. I have two research agreements, so that's not going to be really necessary. But since I am conquering, I'm going to need happiness. So I'm going to go with the burial tomb. And I'm building the pyramids and Thebes, so hopefully that'll pick up. And no one else will grab that, because I really want my workers to be able to build things really quickly. Okay, so my chariot archers are... Uh, over here are fine, so I'm just have these guys going alert. And these chariot are these chariot archers healed? Yes, they are. So I'm gonna have these chariot archers move up as well. Uh, this warrior has needs one more turn to heal. Okay, so this is gonna be okay. Oh, do I not have no, I have bronze working, but I can't upgrade them. Do they upgrade in something else? I thought they upgraded in an experiment. Becomes obsolete with metal casting. Upgrade well, it becomes a swordsman. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna need iron as well. So why don't I go back? And open tech tree. But it's still gonna keep going with mathematics. I really do want that. And then I'm gonna hit iron working. So I'm gonna 
queue that up. Next turn. What? Memphis can fire on an enemy. Oh, they got some scouts over here. I can't attack them, and I think my city will be able to weaken them quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and send my warriors up. They're slow, so i got to get them moving as fast as possible. You alert? Next turn. Perfect. You know, I really like where that city is, even though I can't fully see it because of the two rivers. But I don't like taking enemy cities, or at least keeping them. I usually have my own unit, uh, my own settler over there. So I will probably queue up a settler once my the pyramids are done. Or I might not, because I'm, I'm forgetful. Since you guys are just healing there, I'm going to be able to take you out. Three damage. Okay. Okay, let's have you do a little bit of scatter. Oh, I've met Tyre! Oh. I've, I know a funny story about the Tyre. Apparently, back in the uh, ancient world, it was an insult to say that you smelled like a man from Tyre. Now, this was because of what Tyre produced. Now, if you were to look at uh, ancient Rome, and what we see, like, all the Caesars, all the rulers, they'd all have the color purple. Purple was a very rare dye and had... Um, was only the color of royal royalty, so you'd always see rulers wearing it. And this purple dye came from Tyre. Now Tyre got uh, their dye from snails, that are sea snails or slugs, um, and they'd have to mash them up and boil them to get the uh, purple dye. As a uh, as a result, the process was very, very uh, smelling. The smell just absolutely horrid. So uh, they apparently it became the saying, you know, you you smell like a man from Tyre because of that. So anyway, enough on that little rant. I'm gonna start moving up my units to take this little area. So let's go ahead and move up. Let's have you move over here. And you, because I don't want you on that side of the water. Let's have you move down here. You are going to come on this hill. And you are going to come right there. And since you still have movement, go ahead and range him. Napoleon has entered the medieval area. Wow, I must be really behind on my tech. Let not the pains of death which come upon me enter into my body. I am the god Tim, and I am in the foremost part of the sky, and the power which protecteth me is that which is with all the gods forever. Book of the Dead. Interesting. Mathematics, Mathematics is, the is the gate and the key science. to the sciences. Roger Bacon. I'm actually... What should I do here? Huh. 